Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylix 2. Just suffered a crash, so uh, I just cut the episode. Uh, you may notice that the time has gone up somewhat inconsistently with how I've been playing. Uh, I haven't been grinding or anything. The reason that it's like that is just because I... Uh, yeah, the reason that the autosave is here, but this is here, is just because I, uh, I finished the last episode, I went to go grab that package, and then I wrapped my wife's Christmas presents. I know that this is the, what is this, the 14th of January? Yes, this is the 14th of January. Oh, shit. Well, that ain't good. Uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> so is he. Uh, yeah, it's the 14th of January, but I recorded this. I record these in advance, as you may all know. Um, so I, uh, that's okay. Just, just finish me. Come on, just finish me. Finish me so I can load my save, damn you. Great, okay, cool. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I made a little I made a little guy. This is just a normal action figure. Well, it's not a normal one. Uh but it's it's based off of Hylex, as you can see. I gave him a fin on the back because I really like that. He's got a little badge and he's got a crown. Um, I just, after playing Hylix, I had this urge to make some stuff with clay. So I did. I made a little thing. You gotta be careful because the clay is not quite dry yet. If you're a thud, you'll know what it is. Oh god. No, please. I just quit out. Why bother? The way this game handles healing is weird, and uh, I want to avoid dealing with it. So I just got to remember that if I go down there, a thing will happen. But yeah, I think that you're just supposed to find bugs and slap them to get your health. Ooh, that guy's a full heal. Neato. Should have saved those are the bugs. In fact, why don't I? See, this is a completely new and alien thing to me. The concept of saves coming in Hylix is weird. But I would do this in most other RPGs. Just not in this one. Yeah, it's full heal. That's what I would call a smoking deal. But yeah, unless I'm just hitting the wrong button, there's a lot of things that you just like can't do in combat. Oh, there's a lot of bugs over here. Good to remember that. Big money. Oh, I tried to slap him. Disruption. Forgot what that is. Oh. God damn it. Oops. Is it is it fair to have an enemy that explodes and does a lot of damage to you on its first turn if you can't act before the enemy uh does that to you? 
Like, I don't know if that's fair. Like, ordinarily, I wouldn't mind that much, but, like, that's a little egregious, you know? Yeah, just remain stunned, Pomgorma. I don't care. Honestly. How about one of these, huh? Then no one burns MP. On target and user, right? How about we start the damage on you, huh? So it looks like there's a lot of... Because there's so many status effects... I feel like you almost kind of have to play, like, very heavily status effecty, you know? And, like, that's kind of interesting. The idea of, like, having to play a certain way in a game is, like, not necessarily always the best, but it's usually pretty interesting. Conceptually, like having to play around rules in a certain specific way is uh it's cool it's unique let's deploy a burrito on you huh should do like 130 yeah i really don't want okay good This will kill her. And I've accepted this. Is one dead? Oh, that's not fair. They can't counter on the person that actually hurt them. They'll just counter randomly. That's super lame. I don't know if I agree with that. Man, Wayne has done like nothing this whole battle. Oh, he's dead. This is going awfully. It wasn't really worth it to grab that coin. I did get some musing on game design, but that this is a this is this wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh, that's weird. You can pause cutscenes with escape. I guess you can probably still open the menu, but you're just not supposed to. As an idea, this is still just so weird to me. Like. That fight isn't worth it. I guess it's probably just because, like, you have to, uh... You have to deal with the, the guy. The exploding man. You know, I kind of like collecting the bugs in the first game. I don't know if I like that they've gone away. It makes sense that they would do that. Hold on, I want to get my coin. Okay, now we can fight. Okay. Nobody explosion-y in here. That's good. I'll start by crisping you guys. Sam Snona can charge. Sam Snona. I just kept adding a uh, uh, an end to her name that isn't there. 
you can charge as well. Hmm, that can be bad. Let's have another another one on you, huh? Almost blew that. Okay, let's hope that this kills. I wanted to kill that one guy in the back. Yeah, there we go. And then the wave lets kill that one guy, so we only have to deal with one counter. Perfect. And then we lightning... Let's lightning you. Cool. It is something of an interesting mechanic to try to, um... Oh, does the charge make it so I don't uh, have to deal with the... Um... The charge make it so I don't have to deal with a stun afterwards? Because that's kind of good. I don't know if it also improves the damage, but... Oh, you're just back, huh? That's kind of weird. Because, like, obviously the game wants me to use that mechanic to heal. You know? That makes sense. That's fine. However, the, the thing that makes it weird is... You'd think that they would keep it... Um, well, then again, I don't know how long this game is. Because here's my logic, right? I was thinking, like, why would the game make it so you can heal infinitely? Because if... Oh, this was here the whole time. That's annoying. Because you'd think that if, like, there was a, a mechanic that made healing more sparse and, like, you could only heal in battle, even if you had items... Uh, you'd think that they would want to keep healing spare, you know? But you can heal off of bugs, so... Nice. So what the hell are these things? Sauplet. And Bomalog. Um, yeah, anyway, so like... If they were going to put a bug in an area to make it so that you could heal off of it, does that not defeat the point of bugs being, like, rare? Because if you can just get a, a, a heal after every single fight for free, then why not just do that to me on purpose? I'm supposed to be here. I don't know. Maybe I'm not appreciating it the right way. There's a lot of strange choices made in this game. I still do think it's a very good game, though. On that, you don't need to worry. Tether Homunculus. I don't know what that means. Oh, is he, like, making a new thing? Like, a new... Like, not body, but... Oh, there's Gizzard Spume. Oh, and that's burning as well. And yeah, it looks like it ends the stun early. All right, let's go. You die. There's so many enemies on the screen that they like obscure each other. I don't... That is something that is a straight-up complaint I have. Like, I can unambiguously complain about that. Because, like, if you're going to make a cool enemy design, I would like to see it. It's a cool enemy. 
I want to be like, yeah, that's cool. So I think I don't need to worry about him because I think he'll just burn to death. Oh, uh, here it comes. Let's do a charge up. Lightning's 30, right? Rego snap. Sacrifice homunculus. Whoa. That's a, uh, that's a swerve. How dare you? I'm trying to kill you, you fool. There goes Wayne. Lightning. Hell yeah. Adding the burning is pretty sweet. Okay, we just need everyone to survive. Oh man, that might not be... That's unfortunate. That's straight up unfortunate. The burning caught up to me. What? I didn't open the menu. Okay. That's something I'm starting to see a lot more of as the as the game goes on. Like it the stability in in running it is not as good as I would really like. Like that's really weird. Like the first game was RPG Maker, which is I mean it's RPG Maker. It's not exactly good or bad. It just it's fine, it works, it functions, it's not gonna crash, you can you can bet on it, you know? It's RPG Maker, you should know what you're gonna be able to get. That's nice, it auto saves after fights. I just didn't beat that fight. So it's interesting that he would sacrifice a homunculus to, like, attack. That's cool. So I don't think that there was anything down there. Okay, start off. Okay, it looks like all the same guys. Let's start with you. Do a charge. Um, should do the same thing with uh, having... Snona do charge and then her big whammo. I don't think, um, oh, damn you. I think you need to go first. And then maybe the Galliform? Oh, I just noticed the mouth on the Bomalaug, I think it's called. Actually, I think that needs to go first. Oh, there's so many problems. The thing is, is that like by making an RPG harder, you you force the player to think more. And I do actually like that. Because some games are just hard for the sake of being hard. Um, and that's not as good, you know? That's interesting. My will went away. Like, my bonus will. But because I hadn't gone under my, my total, I, uh, I didn't have it. Okay, so let's pop this off.
the thing about doing moves like this is like they're always better technically speaking you know because like if you're going to do a, a a move that does 20 damage to one thing or does five damage to everything in the battle 20 damage is better unless there's four or more enemies The issue is, is that's a fallacy that I believe in, you know? Like, if there's five enemies and I do uh, a move that does five damage to each of them, I think that's better than doing 20 damage to one enemy. But that doesn't actually kill the enemies. That's a that's a big thing with me, because, like, it is more worth it, but it doesn't mean it's better. It just means it's more worth it. And those aren't necessarily the same thing, you know? Eh, actually. Let's have you do a regular snap. The thing is, with the charge, it does extra attacks, and, like, that's good. You know, that's solid. Works for me. Okay. So let's see if this kills me. Doesn't. Wait, what was that move? I just noticed what the hell was happening. That's weird. I mean, I know that this whole game is weird, but, like, come on. Oh, I need you to survive. I expect that to make like a PS1 startup noise, you know? Defend it. They must have they must have had a defense go up. That was what that thing was. All right, kill you. That's easy. External digestion. Okay. Taking care of business. We're getting through these guys. Okay, he's dead, but that's okay. Three snaps should handle it. I don't know if I can make it through, but... I might be able to. Yes! All right. Smoking. Oh, I gotta remember to use um my, my dodge to get away from battles. Um, I'll go for one more. Well, I got two. Ah, oh, God. Nursed by a city down at Poolwan, even the most belligerent Wayne larva may be turned into a harmless Warpo. Oh my God, they've been killing, like, my clones, my, my, I guess my kin, Wayne larva. That's my least favorite enemy, but it used to be my family. Family, family. Okay, so... Huh. Maybe this isn't the way you're supposed to go yet. Maybe this is the shortcut out of here. And I just need to find where this leads, you know? What a mysterious game. I also need to be aware that sometimes things are like... Things lead to combat, sometimes they lead to dialogue. And sometimes you can get combat and dialogue from something. Because I didn't realize that you could get dialogue from that other one, and I killed it. And then I talked to the first one, and like, I felt like a jackass. Oh, there's a guy, damn it. Okay. I'm not going to attack the Silent Vogue yet. I'm going to wait until it takes its turn, because otherwise it would heal itself. Yeah. 
you two are going to charge. And then I'm probably going to hit the Galliform with um, Pongorma. Damn it, he's still healed. Just not me. Oh, he didn't get all of it back, actually. So now it's just a DPS race between the dot on him and the damage. It looks like I'm winning. Mm. Let's pop you. You'll need it more. Data someone can just snap to Silent Vog. Do the Salplit, thank you. It's a really interesting feeling to have like a party, you know? Cause like the first this is part of just how the first game is really weird. But in the first game, because, like, everyone is just, like, a guy that you just get, it sometimes feels kind of weird that, like, that that's just what they are. They're just, like, a guy that you meet, you know? Like, Stomstona is a, is somebody that you know beforehand, but... I spend next turn killing you. Damn it. Oh, if I had killed it with Wayne, it would have been no... It would have been fine. Hmm. What if we both started bleeding? Actually, I could just heal. Might be smart. Uh, then what should I do? Okay, hopefully his next turn will kill him. Yes. Oh, those are two numbers there. So yes, it looks like uh, that thing that I thought about is the case you can get two bleed procs or two fire procs or two on somebody and it just does uh, the damage twice. It's interesting. All right. Oh shit, I just remembered. I got all of those items and I haven't put them on yet. Those would probably help immensely. Okay, garbs. Pleather. So what do these do? Speed, power, no flesh. Or just a little less flesh. That's solid. The thing about every, almost every game is that um So this is the Thing about almost every game with a speed stat is So this is flesh and speed. This is just flesh. And together those add to 14 so they're about the same. Actually, what's Data Smoln's speed? His speed is miserable. So maybe I should double down on him having flesh. One of the things about um, every game except for Final Fantasy X. Is that um, no matter what, speed will make you go a certain speed. But you can only take one turn per round. But in Final Fantasy X, you take turns as they come. And so you can keep taking your turns. Like, normally in a, in a video game, your speed just means that you go first in a round. But that doesn't necessarily mean that... Um, 
think it'd be a great offer on some of that junk you're hauling. Ooh, I would love to. I've got so many of these. I don't really need these. Thank you, sir. Hey, I feel like there's a lot less NPCs in shops this time. Maybe I've just missed them, though. Oh, hello. Bridge key. Oh, God. Two Wampos, or whatever they're called. Wow, so this one is fast. When geared, I guess. Anyone can be fast. Is there a stun that I can get here? Anyway, so in ten in ten one, Final Fantasy ten. Ah, oh, that's painful. You can make it so um, you essentially go twice in one round. Like if your speed gets high enough, like you can go twice before an enemy takes its turn. So this means that the speed stat is balanced way differently compared to where it is in other games. Uh, and I like that a lot better. Because it means that like, speed is very important for you and like you can have stuff where um like on really really like on fast enemies and like if you're fast and they're fast then you'll just go at the same speed and it plays like a normal rpg but on like really really slow enemies or if you're a normal like speed and you're fighting a really slow enemy or if you're a fast speed and you're fighting a really slow enemy you can go like two or three times before they even have a chance to go. And that's really, really cool. I'm one short, really. But yeah, I think that's a, a smart and cool way to balance that sort of thing. Because otherwise, you kind of hit a soft cap on speed. Um, Chrono Trigger and anything with active time battle has a similar thing. Where your speed determines how fast a little bar fills up. Ah, oh, crap. Um, and the more that the bar fills up, the more like turns you take. percent flash. I think I just need a banana, right? Okay, let's see if this kills me. It doesn't. But we're now in a dead heat here. Hmm. How about one of you? A little more health. What? Oh, God. Jeez, that's annoying. <laughs> But yeah, in, in active battle systems, the speed set determines how fast the little bar fills up, and when the bar is full, you get a turn. Um, and the way that Final Fantasy X works is basically the same way, but um, you just get more, like, you get more of a turn to take, which I think is good. Cool. So let's see what that area is called. Fog last. Makes sense. So 
So I gotta figure out where I'm going. It looks like there's still permanent kills on almost every enemy, which is nice. To an extent. It means that you cannot grind, but... The game isn't built for grinding anyway. So maybe it's alright. Hmm, where does this lead? I've not been in here yet. Okay, so that guy's completely red, so I think that means that he's a villain, right? Okay, it does. Cool. Man, I wish every fart, uh, fart, every fight could start like this. I really just try to go for fight and start at the same word. How stupid of me. Oh, I gotta work on you. You're, you're gonna bring me a homunculus. The highway flame isn't so bad, although the damage could be a little higher than I would expect sometimes. Man, so like, this thing makes you take a turn anyway. So like, take two turns? I Take two turns to cast it anyway, I should say. Bomalaug. So if you're going to get like, yep, here it comes. So if you're going to spend two turns on it, you may as well spend like the pre-turn getting ready for it. And then um, instead of the post-turn, because you get more, you get burn and, and that's cool. Really interesting idea as well. Uh, let's do you, and then let's normal snap the wizard guy. Graft. Okay, that's just a heal. That's okay. Normal snap you. Nice. And then you should die- both of you should die before your next turn starts. But not you. You're going to be a problem. For me. Okay. Nice. That was a good fight. Oh yeah, I, I, I noticed this a little bit ago, but I wanted to mention. Um, the money is bones now. And like, bones is a real word slang for currency. But it is a silly word for currency. Most people wouldn't call it that. I've never actually heard someone say that. Like in the real world. Of course, I've heard it in like movies, but man, they're shutting me down here. At the very least, I'm clearing this area out though. But anyway, in the first game, the um, the currency was bucks. And like, I know that obviously there's no currency actually called bucks. And it's just a slang term for the American dollar because they used to be printed on the skins of adult male deer, colloquially known as bucks. Uh, but I digress. Fact of the matter, It's a, a weird thing to name Nurse Bestity. Okay, so we've heard you. Crown thusly, a pool man will grow into a portent form. In other words, Odo's ears, preparation for reconstitution. Okay, I can kill you, can't I? Smoke and deal. Okay, so this just goes straight up. Okay, so if I can get to there, I can dash through these coins. I just need to find out where there is.
Hmm. It would be here, wouldn't it? Oh, so I follow this one now. Okay. Uh, but it's been 40 minutes. Actually, let me finish my thing. Anyway, it was weird and funny to me that, like, there was no crazy weird name for the currency in Hylix 1. That it was just bucks. And, like, well, that is a colloquial term. It is a term still pretty commonly used. So it was just interesting uh, that that was a choice that they made. And, like, bones still are, but bones are weirder than bucks. Because almost no one has, like, refers to anything as bucks except for the dollar, whereas bones could mean, like, regular bones. And it appears that, like, like these may or may not actually be real bones, you know? Does it say how many I have? Yeah, it just says bones. Anyway, that's my spiel. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This has been an episode of Hylix. Uh, glad to have finished it. Happy you came by. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Uh, have a good day. Bye.